okay. I think things are fixed now. Uh, we will see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I feel like every time I try and stream, it's a... Uh, uh, it's an adventure. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, we will see what happens here. But, um... I'm just checking on the chat to see, or the uh, the stream to see how this looks. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay. All right. So, uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. Sorry for the delay. Um, I am still very much learning, uh, and sometimes OBS and Streamlabs uh, uh, do things that. Um, that I don't really understand. Like, <laughs> uh, layers and stuff just disappear, and, uh, uh, yeah. Um. But uh, I think we are good to go now. So, welcome. This is me playing Minecraft um, in a world or a project that I started a little while ago, a few years ago, I guess, uh, called Frank Lloyd Wrightcraft. Um, and what that is, um, is uh, uh, it is a um, project where I, so I'm a big fan of the architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, if you don't know who that is, I highly recommend checking that out, um, looking up uh, who he is and looking up some of his architecture because it's really amazing stuff. Uh, I've been a huge fan of his ever since I was like a kid. I had like a Frank Lloyd Wright Lego or a Frank Lloyd Wright like block set when I was a kid. Anyway. Uh, and so one day, um, while I was playing Minecraft, uh, I got it in my mind that uh, I should try and recreate, or it would be a good idea to try and recreate one of uh, his buildings, because his buildings tend to be very um, geometric in shape and uh, uh, kind of blocky sometimes. Uh, still really elegant, not like blocky and heavy, but yeah. Um, so uh, uh, the first one that I did was the Roby House, which is one of his famous works in Chicago. Um, and... I uh, wanted to share with you guys a little bit of uh, what I do there and uh, start a new build. So first I'll just uh, sort of show you the world a little bit uh, and some of the things that I've done so far. So um, first of all, uh, this is, so we, we uh, me and my friends, uh, me and Atlas um, started this world and uh, we had like a, a base over here. You can sort of see the beacon over there where like our, our sorter is and stuff. Um, and then I think this was one of like the first tunnels I did where I was trying to play with uh, making it look a little bit more natural rather than just like a straight line. So um, this is some of my very, very early Minecraft work. <laughs> uh, and then we come out here uh, and around. And then this opens up into the Frank Lloyd Wright craft area. So this is just a, a small little bridge to get us over here. Uh, and I am I mostly play in creative mode um, because for me it's more about the building than about the survival, uh, finding resources, that sort of stuff, gathering and whatnot. So um, we're going to be in creative mode today. So these are some of the buildings that I have done so far. Um, let's see, this might have been one of my other early. Well, here I'll show you the Roby House because that was the first one that I ever did. Uh, which is over here, somewhere, when it comes into view. So, yeah, this one, this brick uh, house with the uh, light colored roof, this is the Roby house. And let me see if I can. Uh, oh, that is also not showing up. Uh, okay. Give me one sec here, because I want to show you uh, this picture, a picture of this house. Okay.
Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm I'm having some real um, issues with uh, Streamlabs because it keeps uh, like negating layers, and I'm not sure why. Anyway, here is the Roby House next to the Roby House. Um, Hopefully that should come through in the chat in the uh, stream not too long from now. Um, but yeah, hopefully that can give you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like and how accurate I was. Uh, I do have a Facebook page. If you search for Frank Floyd Wrightcraft on Facebook, uh, I do have photo albums of all of these all these works here, so you can see uh, a bit more. Um, uh, a bit more about them, or like, uh, I also do the uh, in the interiors of these buildings. So, in order to go inside, and let me. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Okay. So if I go inside, uh, like I said, I do some of the interior stuff as well. Uh, not a whole lot in this one, but um, again, this was, like I said, some of my earliest Frank Lloyd Wright uh, building here. But you get these um, sort of long hallways, and they have these lights and, uh, and stuff in the ceiling here. So, yeah, so this is the Roby house here. And let's see, uh, this is the Zimmerman house. This is in um, uh, New Hampshire. So this is one of uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's Usonian style houses. So Frank Lloyd Wright um, uh, also uh, believed in, um, uh, he thought that, that design should not be a luxury, that uh, design should, like good design and good uh, architecture and good aesthetics um, should be something that is not just for the rich and whatnot. So he built a lot of these um, affordable single-family homes, um, more for, I guess, middle-income type families. So, oh, this is the Rosenbaum house. Sorry about that. Not the Zimmerman house, the Rosenbaum house. Um, so yeah, you can see a little, we'll show, show you a little bit of the inside here. And I can bring up a, uh, a photo of this one, too, for you guys. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. So this is the Rosenbaum house. Um, we'll go back outside in a second. I'll, I'll show you again. I can do that right now. So you get a little bit of a, a sort of a similar perspective uh, there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go back inside. I'll show you around a little bit. So this is the, in the Usonian style houses, um, he would usually had like sort of one, what we call a, a great room. So, uh, this is just this one big long room here. Uh, there's a little piano over there, uh, a little like study office type area. Um, these are in the real place. These are like inset bookshelves here. And let's see, over here is a, like a dining table type thing. Uh, Frank Wright did a lot of uh, built-in furniture and stuff. Uh, here is a little um, kitchen. These are actually, uh, in the real place, these are actually pocket doors. So this is my interpretation of pocket doors. Um, and we go down here and we get um, a few bedrooms. These are, uh, again, built-in bookshelf storage type areas. Another bedroom in here. And then the master bedroom is out here uh, with like little balcony or like a little um, outdoor patio type place. Got a little, I remember this, this one, um, the, uh, 
the the people who uh, owned this house or who commissioned him like they uh they sort of kept adding on so like they wanted an extension and then a garden out here so uh franklin wright sort of went against his better judgment oh, here's a little kitchen in here um and actually uh, uh amended the um the plans uh later on sort of after he had after he had built it so uh, but yeah, so that's the uh, the Rosenbaum house. Um, over here we have uh, a large complex. This is the Darwin D. Martin complex. Uh, this part is unfinished. So it's actually supposed to be another another um, house here, the the gardener's cottage. So yeah, so here is this one. I can show you this one as well. Uh, So here is this house, uh, or this complex here. Uh, it's a pretty big complex. Um, Darwin D. Martin was the, uh, I think, the secretary at the the um, at the Lark or the there was a soap a famous soap company. Oh, I'm forgetting the name now. Um, in Buffalo, New York. Anyway, um, but Darwin D. Martin was a huge fan of Franklin, right? Loved uh, both his work and his, um, uh, his integrity and and uh, sort of what he stood for, and so he commissioned him to make this large complex for for him and his whole family so this little house over here was um an addition for his brother to live in uh, this is obviously the main house here um and uh over here is the uh um the like the stables um it's now been transformed it's actually where the gift shop is now if you go and visit uh, and there his wife was uh um, she really liked plants and so there's like a little um garden here. I'll take you through the um, the front here. So, uh, and here is uh, one of the main space. Oh, I guess I left a dog in here. <laughs> uh, with a fireplace. Over here we have a library. Um, and then an ancillary room over here. And uh, this, uh, I don't know, it's got this really cool lattice work um, thing, and it opens up. There's like an open balcony here uh, in the in the place, uh, the actual house. Um, and there is a basement, um, which is now sort of like a multi-purpose room. It used to be like the playroom for the kids. Um, this part is uh, largely unfinished because. There's there's not really a whole lot there, and there's actually not a lot of photos of what's uh, what's down there either, like uh, original photos. So uh, here we're gonna go down the pergola, which is this long hallway uh, with, with it's like an open air hallway, which is super pretty. So we go down here. Uh, and then this opens up into the greenhouse, which is like uh, it's super pretty here. Um, and at the end, uh, <laughs> so they, uh, there's actually a reproduction of the uh, the Winged Victory here. Um, so this is my uh <laughs> my interpretation of that statue. Uh, yeah. Um, and then over here would have been the uh, the stables. So I kind of put some hay and stuff here. Uh, again, like I said, in uh, right now in real life, this is the uh, um, the gift shop to the uh, premise. So, uh, and then, like I said, um, over here was a house for his brother. Uh, you can see, obviously, it sort of matches in style there, so it looks like one cohesive unit. Uh, and then, at some point, I need to add uh, the gardener's cottage, which will be over on this side here. He was sort of like the gardener caretaker of the. Uh, of the uh, facility there. So. Let's see, what else can I show you guys? Um, over here, this is another one of my early 
uh, early uh, um, projects. This is the Pope Leahy House, which is in the DC area. This is another Usonian style house. Um, this cool like cutout uh, roof thing here. Sort of peek inside. There is this. Uh, it, it was an addition that was added later. Um, I think it was actually might have been added by Franklin Wright's son, but it's like a little um, sitting room, uh, sunroom kind of thing here. Uh, we can go inside. Little library study area here. Uh, and then down here, so there's the, the kitchen again with these little pocket doors. Uh, Franklin Wright was notorious for having like tiny kitchens, so uh, they're sort of like tucked away. Um, they're they're very practical, but not very big. Uh, and the dining area here, and here again is that that great room area here. Uh, this um, you can see that the fences that I used here uh, along here, um, they actually it actually is like wood cutouts uh, with some really interesting designs uh, that are in the actual building there. But uh, all I had was uh, fences here to make that work. Uh, and then if you were to go down here, this is where the bedrooms are. Um, again, you get sort of one in here. Uh, that's a little bathroom there. Um, and then again out here. So like I said, if you want to see more, um, I don't uh, have this set up right now to sort of do like a side-by-side -side comparison walkthrough. But if you are interested in seeing more side-by-side -side photos, because um, uh, I'm quite pleased with how they came out, um, if you look at the actual works and stuff, um, uh, you should head over to my Facebook channel, uh, my Facebook page. Uh, it's If you just search for frankloydwrightcraft.com, uh, or I think uh, the... Um, uh, the username is FLWCraft. I think that's what it is there. Uh, over here we have, uh, there's another Usonia style house. Um, that would be the Zimmerman house. Uh, and this is his home and studio. So on this half would be his home. And then over here is his studio and like drafting room. Um, let me show you that as well. So there's these little... Uh, nope, not there. Uh, it's, it's, it's in here. Uh, Frankly, I really liked hiding the front door. <laughs> so, so this would have been like the seating area, uh, the waiting area. Uh, there would have been his uh, sort of secretary or receptionist. We've got a library with uh, this um, sort of octagonal looking um, Again, you can't really do uh, diagonals in Minecraft very well, but it's this octagonal uh, room here, which is the library. Uh, and then over here, we have the drafting room. You see the drafting tables. Uh, and it opens up into this really fascinating ceiling uh, that is held together by chains. Oh, I guess now I could put real chains in there with the... Uh, up, it's, it's, uh, Minecraft's been updated since last time I played. And then if you go through this way, uh, so this this can take us up to the top part if you want to see that. It's just like a little balcony walk around area here. But that's where the uh, drafting room was. Uh, and then if we go over to the other side here, this is where we get into, oh, down there would have been sort of servant's entrance uh, and whatnot. Uh, and then this goes into his home. So here is the, the main room with inset benches, uh, a little seating nook here, and he's got this plaque over at the uh, fireplace that says truth is life. Uh, we can, oh, here's the dining room, uh, and then back through here would have been, so you get like uh, this little interesting window space, uh, back here would have been, um, uh, not through there, the kitchen is back here somewhere. Here it is, the kitchen area here. And then if we uh, go back out and go upstairs, uh, we get to uh, the children's bedrooms. It's interesting, they, they have these um, connected bedrooms where there's the, uh, the ceiling's actually open. Like the wall doesn't go up all the way there. So we have the two children's bedrooms here. 
Uh, and then, uh, oh, this is the bathroom in here. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Uh, this is the master bedroom here with a, a cool vaulted ceiling. And then if we go back here, we get to the children's playroom, which opens up into this gorgeous like vaulting ceiling here. And uh, with uh, you know bookshelves and paintings. And up there was actually like a little mock stage kind of area because his children like to put on little plays and stuff. Uh, and over here is, um, uh, if you go to the actual... Um, Frank Lloyd Wright Home and Studio. Uh, over here is a, a piano, actually. Um, so it, music was super important to Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, he loved music, uh, loved classical music. He wanted his children to play. Uh, but he, Frank Lloyd Wright didn't really like a lot of objects in his space. Uh, and he liked a lot of the furniture. Like You'll notice a lot of the furniture ends up being um, inset into the walls and bookshelves are inset. Uh, and so this is actually a grand piano that is cantilevered over this stairwell. Now, obviously, I didn't really do it here, but if you go to the actual place, out here just sticks the back end of a grand piano. So if you're in the playroom, you can sit down and play the keys, uh, but you'll never see the full, and you have to get the full sound of a uh, grand piano, but you'll never actually see the full thing. So it's really fascinating. Okay, so she's will go but down this back stairwell here. And then this can take us back out front here to the drafting room, and then we can exit. So yeah, um, that's a little bit just of a very brief world tour. Uh, if you want to see more, I don't. Let me know in the uh, in the chat or send me a message. Uh, maybe in future episodes, I will. I can go to some more of these like in depth uh, if that seems interesting to you guys. But now I uh, I want to uh, embark on a new project. So I picked out an area, uh, and it's been a little while since I've I've built uh, in Frank Lloyd Wright Craft World. So I picked something that was a little bit on the easy side, or at least it's just it's not too complicated. It's pretty straightforward, uh, and that is the Fontana Boathouse. So I picked out this area. That's my, just my marker of like where I wanted to do it, um, so I I wouldn't forget uh, the area here. Obviously, I wanted it by the water here um, in a relatively flat land area. We'll probably have to do a little bit of terraforming here and take out some of these trees, but it's going to go sort of long ways this way here. So let me um, switch over here. Okay, so this uh, actually just shows you a little bit of my setup um, for how I do this. Because I do like to, um, uh, I, I, I try and pull from resources that I have. And uh, a lot of these buildings I've actually been to, uh, as I, well, not so much now, but in my job, I used to travel around. And every new city that I would go to, I would check and see if there was a Frank Lloyd Wright building um, in that city or nearby, and then would make a, a stop to go you know, take a tour or take some photos or whatnot. So a lot of these buildings I've actually been to. So I pull from my own photos as well as some things I found on the internet. Um, and then um, uh, also I look at the blueprints. So I wanted to sort of set uh, up the stream like I have my uh, my desktop set up uh, here my monitor uh, trying to do this on a sort of single monitor budget here <laughs> uh, so yeah so you can see I've got in the top um, that is what the Fontana boathouse looks like and then we've got the blueprints with the floor plan uh, just uh, right now it's just the uh, it's just the bottom um, floor this is actually a two-story building uh, but in the uh, bottom they've got 
boats and then um, up top there's like a um, I don't know what I guess it was sort of intended as just like a gathering room um, it's a long a long room with a, right now it's got a dining table in it so uh, yeah So, uh, we're going to get started by doing a little bit of terraforming here, just to uh, level things out a bit. Uh, I guess I'll take out my gaudy marker as well. And we're going to start taking out some trees. Oops. Sorry, grass. But yeah, if uh, anybody out there watching, uh, I don't know, has any questions for me or for me about Frank Lloyd Wright or uh, any of that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments, uh, in the chat. But otherwise, we're just going to be demolishing some greenery for a little bit here. Um, as we get this area all set up. Hello, horses. I should put some horses over in the stables at uh, the Darwin Martin house. Since that, that area was originally uh, supposed to be stables. Or, I mean, it was stables. Like, it was, the, it was the carriage house. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Carriage house. Those are all gone there. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I need to clear out a few more. I guess if we had to, we could always replant things. I think we're probably going to have to take out a good chunk of this hill as well. Just to terraform it right. You all gone? Yeah, you're gone. Okay. Hello, pig. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's starting to look a little bit better there. Uh-huh. Yep. Should help these leaves along. Oh, there's still wood in there, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have to level most of this hill here. Then we can go back later and uh make it a bit more organic as far as uh, this slope over here. But we're gonna level some, level some dirt and grass and stuff. Not all, yeah, I'll probably need it all the way down. Not, 
not all all the way down, but on this this level here. I gotta say, there is something, like, super peaceful about Minecraft, uh, particularly, like, terraforming. I mean, here I'm just, like, clicking on blocks and demolishing, so it's not really all that interesting, but, um, yeah, like I said, something just very peaceful about terraforming in Minecraft. My horse is excited over there. All right, I think we still need more. Yeah. But yeah, a lot more. Okay. Let's definitely cut out at least this much. We'll just cut through here, and then that'll give us a better gauge as far as like how much space we have to work with or if we need to expand this area a bit more. I mean you're gonna have to go tree. You too. Okay, and uh, now we have a pretty obvious area we can demolish. And back again. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it is a little weird, like, talking out into the void. Uh, I'm so used to, like, I don't know, especially, like, playing Minecraft, like, getting into that sort of flow state where, uh, I don't know, you just, you just mine and you craft and you build and stuff. Uh, and I've, <laughs> I've never been, I've never, like, had to, like, narrate what I'm doing to anybody. So that's fascinating. Hello, pig. Uh, Brett, I am, uh, well, right now I am, oh, oh, the building that, yeah, that is the, um, Fontana Boathouse. It's in Buffalo, New York. Uh, and right now we are clearing out an area to build this. So, uh, what you're seeing on the, uh, right side of the screen is just an sort of overview photo. That's what we are working on today. And then below that is the blueprints for it, uh, or the, the bottom floor floor plan for it. I, uh, whenever I build uh, Frank Lloyd Wright stuff, uh, I try and, I mean, I, I, I make them to scale. Like I try and make them as to scale as possible. Um, and I always find blueprints online um, of, of those houses, of those buildings, so that I can, uh, make them as accurate as possible. Uh, and then I supplement with, or I, I use uh, my own photos if I've been there and oftentimes supplement with other things that I find uh, on the internet. So I'll be, as we get uh, more details and whatnot, I'll probably be cycling through a few different photos um, depending on what area of the building that I, I am working on. So that will change up there in the upper uh, corner. By the way, Brett, thanks for the sub. I uh, just saw that notification this morning. I appreciate it. Sorry, pig. But uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, the Fontana Boathouse is in Buffalo, New York. Uh, there's actually a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright uh, work in Buffalo, New York. Um, largely due to this one guy, uh, uh, Darwin D. Martin. Um, if you were here earlier, I don't know if you can see it from here with the render distance. Uh, no. Um, I have a, a really large complex uh, here, uh, and that is the Darwin D. Martin complex, which uh, he was um, uh, the... Secretary, treasurer, he might have been the treasurer for the uh, the famous soap company there um, in um, in Buffalo, and he was a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright and Frank Lloyd Wright's work, um, both uh, aesthetically, um, he liked his architecture, but also uh, was a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright's integrity and work ethic uh, and sort of what he stood for. So he commissioned a lot of uh, work from Frank Lloyd Wright both his main family complex home uh, and then also a summer home called Greycliff um, as well as some other minor works. So yeah, like I said, he was a huge fan of his. Excuse me, horse. Okay, this is in better shape, uh, at least to give us some working room here. Um, and some of this we may need to terraform a bit more later and make it less weird. Uh, or yeah, at least connect this river to itself. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is where we are going to build our boathouse. We might need to take a little bit more here, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
oops, uh, that was too far down. Right? Yeah. It's fine. We can edit in post. It's fine. Hi, sheep. I don't think you want to be here, sheep. There's That doesn't go anywhere. Where are you going? Sheep. Is that sheep looking at me? Oh my gosh. Pig, move. This is this is not for you here. Well, we're almost done with this, and then we can start laying out floor plan.
I'll go back later and I'll fix these trees. Because they kind of look weird now. <laughs> but this does give us a nice working area. This might have to get fixed a little bit too. Okay. So I, uh, when I start building, I, uh, like I said, I do look at the, the blueprints. Um, but I also, um, I tend to like also do some uh, details first, uh, so that because sometimes the details help me gauge like sense of scale of like how how big something is or or not and um, uh, yeah uh, like I use doorways as sort of my starting block right because like a doorway is fixed and I want the doors to be functional so I oftentimes use doorways um, as a uh, like I said, a way of gauging scale and whatnot. So I think that's where we're going to start, is with a door. So let me actually go over here. Uh, that's a pretty good view. So I preloaded some, some photos with like some of the details here. That is also a decent view. Yeah, let's go with that for now. I think that'll, that'll give me something good to work with here. Okay. So, what kind of door should we use? Uh, I, I guess maybe just the dark oak door. Uh, or we could use the acacia door. Um, maybe we'll go with that because of the cutouts. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Mm -hmm. And then, as far as blocks, let's see, what's a good, maybe the polished andesite? Looking for other gray blocks that might go. I mean, the stone. There's always stone, uh, and we might need to use like uh, a combination to to get like the right texture and that sort of stuff. So I usually at this point like go through and sort of start looking for my my color palette of what I'm going to be working with here. Um, yeah, we'll probably need uh, some of these things as well. Smooth stone might be good. Let's do this. Um, yeah, smooth stone might be our best bet. Although I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the lines there. Hmm. Do you also have clay? That might look a little weird though. Or there's the cyan terracotta. A little bit dark, but might work. Or light gray concrete, which is kind of what this is. So maybe we should use light gray concrete and then maybe like the smooth slab stones for the roof there. Because uh, we do get a little bit of that, that pattern there. Um, although, if we just use uh, light gray concrete, then we... We'll be able to get a lot of the variants. Like you see at the, the bottom in between the two doors there, like the little, not pedestal type thing, but if we just use a, like a concrete, we won't be able to get the detail there. Although it is a little bit of a different color, so we could possibly play with some of these other Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the clay. We do have polished andesite, uh, and we do have stone stairs. Okay, I think I think we're gonna go with light gray concrete. Uh, light gray concrete with uh, maybe some smooth stone or maybe some of the polished andesite. Let's see what kind of. We have. 
a really posh insight. Okay. All right, well, let's, let's start. So how far out do we need this to be? Um, let's do it here. So we will do two or three wide bef before we hit a door. And then if we do a door there, there they are two doors. Uh, hmm. And then this would, oh wait, did we say we we're gonna use, yeah, we did say we were gonna use, uh, the light gray concrete, yeah. Okay. And then this part comes forward a bit. Oops. So you get those kind of pillars there, which I might be making this too wide, I'm not sure here. Yeah, so this is kind of what I do. Uh, and I kind of just play around a little bit and see what works and what doesn't. Um, yeah, I maybe I just want to make those, I think I just make, may, I might want to make these just a single a single one wide here. Oh, that's going to stay. And I think I want to make these, this one three wide. Oh, there's, I guess I need to make it four wide because of the windows up there. Either four or two wide. Hmm. Let's do it two wide. And then we'll do another column here. Okay, that's starting to take shape there. Um, do I want to do that or do I want to do them oops, upside down? No, I don't think I like that. Or maybe I just want to do uh, some sort of slab there. No, I don't think that's right either. Well, let's let's put the stairs there, maybe even just as placeholders. And then we'll need two more doors over here. Um, so that'll need to be... here and here and then uh, oh that needs to be back damn it <laughs> needs to be inset there we go uh, and then this yeah like that so far could get them to open out, but then they would be set in. 
let's see let's see what that looks like Although that does give it some sort of texture at least uh, as opposed to just a flat wall here so let me maybe I'll do that for now okay okay Then this might need to be one more high just because of uh, Minecraft and ceilings and whatnot. Um, we could do a little bit of like an overhang here. That might look kind of nice. We, I mean, obviously, like, it should really be half of this size, but, uh, you know. Could look okay. All right, so that's a pretty good start so far. Yeah. And then, I mean, we could always do something like this here to give a little bit of detail. Um, maybe I don't know. I might change that later. We'll see how it goes. So, so then if I okay, let's look at this side here. I guess I could make. Uh, hmm, what if I did something like that? Um, if I did this, does that look better or worse? It might look a little weird. It might look okay. And then we just go down for like a long ways. <laughs> Because it's this long boathouse. Because they've got like uh, regatta type stuff. Um, where are those photos? There you go. Yeah, like super long boats on the inside. Uh, it's going to be interesting to try and figure out what to do about those lights. Uh, or like the rafters. We might be able to do something interesting with uh, some wooden slabs uh, and or um, trap doors. Uh, although I don't know. We'll have to see what the... What it looks like above, or we might just use uh, like glowstone or something. Not sure quite yet. Um, yeah, here are some of the, the original drawings. Uh, so like, actually the the blueprint um, that you see um, in the middle of the screen there uh, came from the same this poster here. So that's that blueprint. Uh, this is a, a, a photo that I took of that that blueprint, uh, and then. Uh, a little bit more of the detail here. Oh, it really should be like right on the water. Uh, what does it look like from... Yeah, there's like a little dock there. Okay, we might need to move this over then um, in order to get this like right on the water. Okay. Uh, and then that's going to have to get severely... Yeah, that's fine. We can just chop that off. Okay. So let's let's move this all over, uh, like right onto the water. And then we can, we can build that little dock out there as well. Um, that might mean that this uh, needs to come down again maybe not no because it could it could come down I see no no no. we're fine we'll, we'll do it at the same level but we're gonna move this all the way over uh -huh. to like here 
Uh, well, let's also let's do like a weathered slab, either oak or spruce. No, let's do oak. Uh, okay, so we definitely weren't using that. I don't think we'll need that anymore, so you can get rid of that. Okay, let's uh, also build this uh, this dock here. So, nope, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, okay. So then this needs to come like right down to it. You might take a few liberties as far as like the, see how there's a ramp that goes down to that that dock there. I don't know if we'll do this front ramp. It just kind of breaks up the lines of things. Just checking in with the, uh, the various chats real quick. Alright, so then, yeah, let's, let's build this up to that level, excuse me, to that level there, and then we can put the concrete on top, yeah, I like this, okay. Okay, so then we need the doors, and we want them to be on this side, and then we want that concrete to go over, and then down, nope! <laughs> Clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, did we use that there? No, we didn't use it on this side. Uh, but on this side, it comes like out. Right, and then it's that the tall tower thing. Uh, and we used slabs. Uh, so we did two high here. And then we used these slabs here to give it a little bit of dimension. Yeah, okay. And then that was too wide inset. Then this comes out here. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and put these out here as a idea placeholder. Oop, nope.
this might need to get changed to like concrete or a walkway or something. Take out that grass and these flowers and grass. Okay. So now I can put these back in here. Yeah, it is just right on the water there. Okay. Uh, and now we need doors again. And we need them to be on the inside. Nope. And this goes up and over. Uh, right, and we use this at the bottom. Okay, okay. So now... We can just send this down a long ways. And the same thing over here. And we'll do this too high. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, and now, let's see, what was the interior floor like? Oh, interesting. It's like super weathered wood. Okay. So, yeah, they always use acacia wood for that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, no, we want we want horizontal, because that is that's how that is here. Oh, we're definitely going to build boat racks. It's going to be great. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there in the Twitch chat? The, the Twitch verse? Twitch land? Hey, Dance and Gravin, thanks for the sub. Sorry I missed that. I wish my uh my chat overlay told me when uh when subs happened. Okay, I want you all going the same way, like for real the same way. There we go. I guess we can go back this way.
like that, the height that I want. Yeah, I like that nice weathered gray floor. I think there was a better option. Nope. Still, I'm still going with this one. Okay. Cool. All right. And now I guess we'll go ahead and build some more of these sides. Uh, we do need to figure out where those windows are. Uh, it does go in a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish that or not. We should try. We should try to go in there. Just to give it some, some I don't know, depth or texture or something. So maybe, oh no. Well, I guess we could make it no. Do we have it on the on the back side too? Yeah, it is drat. I should do that. That would make it look way better. That's going to mean moving like everything over a block. Arg. I should do this the other way. Uh, we're going to need to move this over to... Yeah, so we want these to be three wide now so that we can make a little... Oh, didn't need to do that. It's fine. We can make a square here and then come in for this. At least that'll give it a little bit more texture, I think. More dimension. That's probably a better better word there. OK. 
Okay. How does that look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that better. For sure, for sure. Okay. And now this is going to be where this column is. And we want this to be only too wide, so now you're going to get moved over here. And then these doors are going to be here instead of here. Yep. And we need you to be inside here. Okay, and we did three over there and three over here. Okay, okay. And then this needs to be, s needs to step in. Right? Okay, that wasn't too bad of a of a fix. Hey, squids. Okay, cool. And then we can do the same thing on the other end uh, when we figure out like where exactly where exactly that needs to be. Okay, so now let's go back to um, that image with the windows on the side. Yeah, this thing. There we go. This is wide enough. This might need to be wider. Damn. Uh, like just thinking about the upper room because there is. Um, where is it? Here we go. There is an upper room which is not terribly narrow. Maybe I need to think about the balcony. Yeah, this balcony here. And think about, like, hmm. her. Okay. And oh, that's not a balcony that sticks up. It it's like the thing is set on top of it here. Yeah, I think this whole thing needs to be a little bit wider. Maybe. 
for the balcony we do this. And I don't think there's a balcony on the on the other side. Or is there? Oh, I guess there is. Yep. There's balcony on both sides there. Okay. Let's think about this. You know what, we might do that for Windows for now, just to give us some idea. And that means that I want to use these, I think. as our little skylighty kind of things. So that was one off, so Let's try that. We can always expand later if we need to. So then this would be here. I mean, we could make those glass skylights. Maybe we'll try one on one side, one on the other side, just to see. And then that means that here is where we would have a uh, doorways If we were to make it symmetrical, then this would pop out here. Like so. Okay. I'm going to go look at the the actual photo now. Okay, so they're not they're windows, not doorways. Okay, but we can put this here. And then maybe like so. And then like so. What was that? That was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here and then. Like that. So then I 
I guess we'll stick with this guy here. Yeah, so if this came in one, two, three, then one, two, three, three folds. One, two, no, that would be the work. So then the inside would be that narrow. Is that okay? Feels too narrow. Okay. Maybe we'll just widen this by one. How would that feel? It still feels really narrow. Okay, let me look at the front again. Yeah, I think we should definitely widen that. Okay, we're definitely doing that. What if we did this? Yeah, Zan, I've been I've been poking around a lot with uh, um, with OBS. Actually, I'm using Streamlabs now, um, and also Minecraft is uh, I don't know, it's less intensive, I guess, than uh, than some other things. Uh, so there's that. Why doesn't this line up? Oh, it does. No, it totally does. Okay. And then I would want this to be here. Okay. But yeah, I've been been poking all the settings and doing a little bit more research and uh, sitting in my game with some, making sure that my game is running some lower settings and then tweaking some stuff in OBS and Streamlabs and yeah, I mean, I, every game is a new adventure. <laughs> Trying to figure out like what's the right, what's the right combination uh, and that sort of stuff. So uh, it's not perfect yet, but um, we're getting there. Okay, so that still looks good out here, and I'm hoping the inside won't be too tight. Um, 
Yeah, because if we need to mirror this on the other side. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, and then here's the question. Do we do this or do we do something like this up here? Yeah, I don't know. Because if we do... <coughs> have to look at the photos again. I know there's like a little, um, let's see. Uh, we could do that. Actually, that doesn't look that bad. I might like that better. And there is like a little glass, um, Uh, glass window thing here, so we might stick with that. Not entirely sure yet. Yeah, Zen, we also played some uh, Left 4 Dead last night um, after I uh, had to kill the grounded stream because it was just it was just too laggy. Uh, and Left 4 Dead was also no problem, but also, that, I mean, that is a super old game, so. But today we're playing Minecraft, and that's also less labor-intensive. Okay, so what do we do? What did we do here? We did... Uh, it's two wide. Actually, it's three wide if you include the wall. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, we actually haven't played Last Stand yet, but yeah, uh, it's super exciting that there's a uh, that there's new content for Left 4 Dead 2, uh, which is um, made by community members and endorsed by Valve. So that is remarkable. Uh, and very exciting. Uh, yeah, let's do a row here. Uh, so yeah, we didn't play uh, The Last Stand yet, um, or the new content stuff. Uh, we were, actually one of one of our other friends um, just got himself a gaming PC, which is super cool. Uh, he has been a Mac guy for a long time. So uh, it was. It's cool to see him, uh, like I don't know, get excited. I mean, he's he is also stuck in quarantine, like all of us, and wanted to. He's getting a a quest too, and he was like, I want to play even more or more games on uh, in VR because VR is awesome, obviously. Uh, and so he was asking about like, what do I need? And and uh, he also does some like video editing stuff. And uh, Atlas was helping him uh, like look into stuff, and you know, was mentioning, well, luckily, um, you know, the requirements for video editing and gaming are not all that dissimilar. So that's good for him. Uh, anyway, but he has, uh, I mean, maybe when he was a kid, he played some games, but we are basically teaching him how to FPS, <laughs> which was a fun time. Uh, if any of you guys out there care, um, you can watch that stream. We played through one campaign with him, and then uh, uh, he had to bounce, and so we played through another campaign with uh, one of our other regular friends. Let's go back like that. We'll figure out some sort of window situation here. Yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do with the windows there, but we'll figure it out. Okay, is this too narrow for the inside? Uh, kind of. 
I don't really want to change. I like the look of this outside so much. And if I make it wide, you lose some of that, like, yeah, I feel like you would just lose some of the long narrowness of it. So I think we're going to leave it for now. We do need to fix the rest of this floor. Not into VR? Oh, VR is awesome. He said, I just bought a couple of PS5s for my kid so and I so we can play since she doesn't have a gaming PC at her mom's. Yeah, yeah. That makes total sense. Uh, consoles are definitely good for that. Like, it's, I don't know, it's easy, right? Like, playing with your kid. They don't have to worry about, like, upgrading components or making sure the specs are right, like, I don't know, consoles just work, and then that's super easy to play, like, uh, co-op stuff with, so. Okay, so in here, what it was, one, two, three, and then, oh, at the end, we need to bounce this out. And then here it's one, two, three. Cool. Uh, and I think I put these here. Okay, and then what we did, we left a space, then we did, uh, let's see here, we want this. I think we did four of those that balance out, yep. And here, we make this all nice and symmetrical. Right, and oh nope, that is not symmetrical. There we go. <laughs> and then I need a door. A door there, and a door to the outside there, and then we'll figure out the window stuff later. All right. And then so I think we're gonna do the glass here for the little balcony edge ledge thing. Okay, so then let's go look at the interior again. So it's all, it's wood up there. Mm -hmm. What kind of wood do we want for the upstairs floor? We just good old oak. That looks kind of like oak.
so these are not directional. Yep. So we just put these in. Uh, actually, no, let's do... Let's do slabs. We'll give us a little more height and uh, we can play with some stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I like that idea. Yep. Uh, and actually, we could also do it here. For the most part, I think. Yikes. We'll go fix the doors later. It's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bello. You are welcome to lurk anytime. Thanks for stopping by. All right, and so we need to go put these guys back up here. Here and here and here and here. Screw that one up. Okay. Um, all right. Getting there. Let's go look back at the front of this this place here. Okay. Hmm. Her. We might need to change that up with the wood here. I'm not quite sure yet, though. Yeah, we could do something there. I want to fix this up, though. So let's do this three high here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there yet. Okay. We do want some sort of window thing here. Um. Well, we might need to get creative. Uh. Also. Um, let's see, what are those? Mm. 
Yep, we can do that. And let's do continue with this idea here. So that goes out as far as that. Okay, there we go. Stop. <laughs> and that continues to go up. Like little flagpole is there. Okay, so if we do that, if that's our ceiling, That look okay here. We could always add a slab if we wanted a different color ceiling. Um, so that is definitely a possibility. I'm just going to put out a few of these for now just so we can get an idea. Okay. All right, all right. And I know back here we have like uh, bathrooms and stuff, and there's also a stairwell which we got to deal with over here. Uh, according to the blueprints. Uh, yeah. Coming in. Oh, it looks like this, there's a stairwell in front, too. Is that what the blueprints say? It looks like there's a bath. It might be a bathroom or a washroom or whatever there. I'll have to look inside and see if that's still the case or not. But we're looking, looking better here. It's definitely starting to look like it. Yep. That would be weird, I think. Yeah. Well, that does look like wood, so maybe we need to change that. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. That is starting to look look like it. All right. Let me look through some more of these pictures and see if we can discern a little bit more about the interior. Yeah, the interior space. So I know there are like bathroom, washroom things upstairs. And lockers. I wish I had a floor plan for the upstairs. Yeah, so this is this back corner where the stairwell is.
So if we make this symmetrical, right, one, two, three, and then it comes over. here hello horse but I think there is a doorway here So we were using, what, uh, oak slab for that? Okay, so let's grab some oak stairs. And try to reverse engineer this uh, stairwell here. I think I need to bring this back one more. Well, maybe it needs to come back even more. I think we're going to try and work with that. Yeah, okay, that's all right. And then it does go down a hallway here, like a skinny little hallway. Let's see. Um, let's use this.
Well, this might not be completely accurate. Let's use bone, maybe, for inside here. Yeah, that's nice. Like I said, I mean, it is a skinny hallway. I do remember that. We'll look at some more photos. Okay, I think I might need to make that red on the outside. Yeah. And then figure out something to do with the windows. The windows are always really hard because like they've got these skinny little uh, wooden borders, but they're still windows. So I oftentimes uh, let's see, they're a little bit darker than the. Uh, do we want to make them dark? Or maybe just spruce. Maybe we'll just go with spruce. Uh, and then. So let's do this. Let's just take all these out here. So I usually end up doing something like this. Um, so that it's still, like, there's still obviously windows, but you get a little bit of that feeling. It's sort of the best I can do in these situations, I think. Do you want to go too high? I guess so. You can go too high. They are, after all, tall windows. And then, how terrible does that look on the outside? Not terrible. I don't know. Might have to, might have to sleep on this a little bit, and figure out what I want to do about those and also figure out how to do this like locker room washroom thing I like the sound the bone blocks make So we come upstairs, we go through here, and I think there would be like a door almost immediately here uh, that goes into the women's bathroom, which is here, and it would have some like, make some fake lockers and that sort of stuff here. 
Uh, I think that's That's what we'll do. Yep. And we'll make this a solid door. <laughs> so it's not quite so see through. Uh, I guess we'll do a spruce door for this, yeah. Let's do hmm, one of these two. Yeah, let's do this for the lockers. to look at it again. I might need to do some research and find some uh, find some more interior photos online. Thanks, Dance and Gravin. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how, how this is going so far. Um, still need to figure out the downstairs with the boats. Luckily, we do have boats in Minecraft, so that's good. I know, I might, uh, we've been streaming for, I don't know, two, three hours now, so I might uh, call it here, sleep on it, go do some research, and find some more um, more photos uh, of what this looks like, and get back to you guys. Oh, I guess I could do that. I wonder if I can do something fancy. Um... What if I did... I cover those up with trapdoors. Actually, let's go look over it on the, uh, the side with the windows. That This might be what we do. Yeah, I like that better. I think that was a good call. Cool. Okay. And then we'll fix those with, uh, let's do stone slab. Plus, is that going to look, that's probably going to look weird underneath. Yeah. We could put... Let me try this out and see. Okay, let me thank you. And what does that look like down here? Okay, well, 
we might be able to do something fancy with the way the rafters work and so that won't look as bad because we do have where's the downstairs should we downstairs yeah so we've got some like rafter type things and lights and uh might be able to do something something f fancy here or at least uh let me see here. No, I think I want dark. Um, if we did something like, oh, you won't let me connect. Okay, well, what if we did this then? Maybe we'll maybe it'll let us maybe we'll do something like that, and uh, hopefully we do have this on an odd. So we could do oh nope I guess we can't. Hmm. Darn. Okay, we're gonna have to puzzle that one out. I might do a little bit of poking around on my own. Like I said I might do some more research and uh, yeah, figure out what I want to do, especially like this back bathroom area. Just so so tight. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do some more research. Uh, but it's been fun hanging out with you guys and uh, playing a little Minecraft. Uh, it's really it's really nice to get back into this uh, Frank Lloyd Wright craft stuff. Uh, I really enjoy building. I, I mean, obviously I love Frank Lloyd Wright stuff and I really enjoy, I don't know, delving into uh, his work a little bit more. And like I said, looking at blueprints and trying to Know, trying to get things right, trying to recreate them as much as uh, as close to possible. So I uh, I plan to do this. Uh, I don't know if that's the right choice here. We'll, we'll leave that out and we'll figure that out next time. Uh, but I plan to do Frank Lloyd Wright Craft Fridays. So if you're looking for more of this sort of stuff. Um, I encourage you to come back next Friday, and we will continue with the Fontana Boathouse. Uh, but until then, uh, enjoy your week. I'll probably be streaming here and there. Um, I don't know, as as my friends and I play games, or as I get curious about stuff, or um, yeah, I uh, next week I've got uh, Mondays are demo days, so I I play some demos of games that look interesting to see if I want to buy them or if you would like to see me play them. Uh, and then Wednesdays, we've got uh, Indie Game Wednesdays, and then Frank Lloyd Wright Craft Fridays. Um, otherwise, uh, I tend to stream uh, Deep Rock Galactic with my co-op crew. Uh, the game is awesome. So those are sort of unannounced or unscheduled and sort of whatever people are online. But uh, yeah. Uh, until next time, everybody. See you then. Bye.